Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and today's video is going to be hopefully the last clean with me while I'm pregnant. If so, that means finally the baby came on time. I'm due in about 13 days, so we can only hope. My partner and I actually found this skip hop activity table for free on the side of the road. And what I did was I just scrubbed it clean and I'm just cleaning the seat. And it retails for like $140 brand new and we got it for free. It is in mint condition. I just had to clean it up a bit. So that's what I was doing there. Our front entrance has gotten a little crazy. There are wood chips everywhere and the floor is nasty and it's just a hot mess. So I figure clean it up a little bit. It's been snowing lately, so that is why there's a towel on the floor to clean up our snowy shoes at the end of each day. That's Canada life for you. My partner does keep his work stuff in here as well in those black drawers, so I kind of have to fiddle around with it and just shove it in there. I don't really move things around too much because it's his stuff. I prefer to hang up the backpacks. It's just a lot easier that way and gets everything off the floor. Unfortunately, we do have ants that come in the house in the winter time, so keeping everything off the floor just makes sure that they don't get all in my daughter's backpack and everything. And the other way I prevent that is just by honestly vacuuming and sweeping as much as I can. So having to vacuum up, like I said, it's been snowing, so our feet are coming in with the salt from outside for the ice and the snow and all of this just grossness. So I had to vacuum it all up and clean, especially since our entryway is kind of the first thing you notice when you walk in, of course. And as you can see, this carpet was super nasty. So I just had to get it all out of there. My partner actually does work in construction, so he gets super muddy. And no matter how many times I vacuum this a day, as soon as he comes home, it just gets absolutely disgusting. So it's nice that the carpet's there so it doesn't get on the floor, but it's really annoying and it's black so you can see it very easily. Same goes for the stairs. His feet are so dirty when he walks upstairs to go have a shower and it kind of just drags all over the house. Yeah, I just kind of tipped over the vacuum. So then I gave up at that point. I only can do that much of the stairs. I actually ended up falling down the stairs at about 34 weeks pregnant, not while vacuuming, just while walking. So I have to be really careful and I only could do halfway up the steps today. This is the aftermath of the front entryway, just everything tucked away nicely and the carpet is clean until hubby gets home, I guess. This might be a super unpopular opinion or thought, but I really don't see the point in making a bed. Like, I'm just gonna lay in it later on. So I don't normally make my bed unless I really am feeling like getting organized and clean. My partner loves coming home to a bed that is made, so he will kind of joke with me because he'll leave way before I get up. So he'll say like, oh, you didn't make the bed today, and tease me about it. And I've never made my bed since I've lived on my own um, for the past, what, six or seven years. So here we go, making my bed for probably maybe the 20th time in my life. <laughs> um, it does, I will say it, makes a huge difference to make your bed. It definitely makes a difference, but my toddler will just come in and jump in it. And as soon as my husband gets home from work, he lays in the bed and just messes it up anyways because he's so tired from the day. So there's literally no point for me. Another thing I like to do every now and then is empty out my purse or my bag and just reorganize everything, making sure I have masks in there and everything as well as my wallet. It's just a lot easier, especially in a big bag like this, to not have things just flying loose in there, having food in there. Like I said, we do have ants. So if this bag is on the ground and I have food in it, the ants will go in there. And no, 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 <laughs> no thank you. I did scrub the bathtub recently, but the sides of the tub I didn't get to, so today was the day where I got to that. It's really hard to bend over, so I just did a little bit of a wipe down to each part, and then just in the middle of the tub as well, needed a little bit of a wipe down. Nothing too crazy, just because I have cleaned this recently, but I still needed to clean it up. It was bugging me. I'm nesting. I'm scrubbing all the little corners and baseboards, so I may as well scrub the tub while I'm at it. Scrub the tub. That's a good one. What do you find to be the most satisfying thing to clean? Of course, if I'm trying to clean up, I think the most satisfying thing is either like making the bed, 
vacuuming the stairs, something big that you notice right away that is the most satisfying to me and really motivates me to clean the rest of the house. Here, I'm just trying to reorganize a little bit. I set up a new shelf and just trying to organize that cabinet that I was showing you. I need a spot for the baby's bottles and my pump parts because baby is coming any day now. And yeah, just wanted to get it all ready to go. I do need to sterilize these bottles still, but everything else has been sterilized and clean. So that is that. And I am planning to breastfeed again, so I won't really need the bottles. They are just more for a backup in case. I also was given this formula, so I figured I would keep it just to see in case we needed it for some reason. But like I said, I will be breastfeeding. So that is the organized cabinet, really quick and easy. I'm going around the house to get all of the garbage and recycling. We do have a couple garbage cans in the bathrooms and in our bedroom for the diaper change table, but we've been using it lately just for random things before the baby comes. So I just wanted to get all of the garbage out in case I go into labor in the next couple of days. I don't wanna have stinky garbage around my house while I'm in labor. And this is our giant pile of recycling that I've been neglecting. <laughs> Everybody, this is your public service announcement. You left your clothes in the dryer. Make sure you go and grab those. Anyone else do that? Nope, just me? Okay. Go get your laundry out of the dryer. Yes, the laundry that you forgot to change over and it's been sitting in the dryer for a few days. Let's just fold our laundry and get it over with together. So I like to get this done as soon as possible. Otherwise, I forget about it. And we don't have a lot of clothes, especially me being pregnant. I only have about two shirts right now and a couple pairs of pants that fit me. So. I need my clothes clean and up here and I don't want to have to walk all around the house. Also, like I said, if I go into labor, I don't want this laundry sitting in my dryer for the next week while I'm at the hospital or whatever. I apologize for the laundry on the floor in the background. That is because the basket that you see on the bed is the only laundry basket we have at the moment. So I wasn't able to use the laundry basket yesterday, which is why the laundry is thrown on the floor. I know it's a little messy, but hey, this is a clean with me. so. I got to it eventually, I just didn't film that part. <laughs> Is anyone else really obsessive about the way that they do their laundry? Like the way I fold my towels and put away my clothes, very specific. Watching this and doing this is very triggering. This is so random, but when I was little, I was told that plants have feelings. And if ever I ripped like a leaf out or like a little blade of grass or anything, I would get my hair pulled and told that, how do you like that? You don't like it, well neither does the plant. So it, it was a little triggering to me to clean up these plants, the dead leaves, because I, just as a kid, I would get my hair pulled and it would not feel good. But when I do clean these plants, the dead leaves off of them, they grow so much better and so much bigger. So that is why I was doing that, despite the triggering memory. I have been cramping so much. I'm 38 weeks exactly today. Everyone says I'm so small, but my belly feels huge to me. Like, I feel ginormous. <laughs> um, but everyone's always like, are you sure you're doing two weeks? You're pretty small. Yep, I'm sure. Looks pretty big to me. <laughs> Anywho, I've been cramping like crazy contractions um, for the past few days at nighttime too, like Braxton Hicks. But right now I'm getting so much cramping here just from like cleaning up and stuff. Um, so it's good and I had to get all this stuff done well I didn't have to but I didn't want to have to do it with the baby and nesting you know don't worry if I were to turn on the kettle I would not leave it right here where the toddler can reach I move it up to the counter but I don't like keeping it on the counter because this is the only counter space we have right now this is stuff that is just there temporarily for a few minutes but this is kind of how I set it up so at the back I put the magic bullet and the egg beater and stuff and then the bread and some fruit and then down here, most of them are being washed and dried right now, so just like the shaker cup and extra water bottles and stuff. And then potatoes and onions at the very back. Oh my goodness, I'm so out of breath. Anywho, I'm gonna start doing my meal prep now for a separate video, postpartum meal prep. Oh, I'm getting so many contractions. Whew, my back is hurting too with it. So many contractions. It's like they're not painful, but it's like a lot of tightening. Um, they're definitely really close together, but they're also not like 
consistent enough to the point like they're not like five minutes apart and I'm getting like closer like that they're just like random but oh my goodness but yeah that is kind of how I have it set up so I'm going to rest a little bit because these contractions are just getting a little gnarly for me oh like it's going like rock solid Whew. I wish I could say yeah like I think I'm gonna give birth soon but I really don't. Um, I have had like a few labor signs, if you want to say. But you can have those like three or four weeks before you go into labor. And I had them all last week and didn't go into labor. And with my daughter, my first pregnancy, I tried everything to induce my labor. Literally everything. This pregnancy, like at 37 weeks, I did try things like walking and pineapple and stuff. But the way that, I mean, it might be totally a fluke. But with my daughter, I tried for two weeks, from 38 weeks until pretty much 39 weeks and like five days. I tried everything. And the day I went into labor was the day that I was just like, I give up. I'm not gonna try any harder. She'll come when she comes. And I was in bed watching Netflix relaxing. And my body was relaxed and just like hanging out for once in past two weeks at that point. And I went into labor, my water broke. And I had like a really actual quick and amazing labor. Like it was, so good i'll link that down below if you're interested on like the labor story kind of thing but it was like the most perfect first labor ever it was painful it was unmedicated so it was very painful but it went very well um so i'm hoping that happens again so now i'm like okay i know everything in life like for this ttc journey if you kind of knew we tried for seven cycles which some people might think is not a lot at all which is true compared to other people that go years and years 100 percent um, and we didn't have to go to like a fertility clinic or anything like that. And it was during like COVID times. So really it was like, what else is there to do? <laughs> God, that sounds so bad. But this was like in lockdown. Um, anyways, it took seven cycles. And then literally the cycle that we were like trying and testing and everything, ovulation strips and the cycle, the literal cycle, I was like, I give up. I can't do this to my heart anymore. Finding I'm not pregnant every month was like, crushing me um and my sister was also ttc at the time so and i was pretty sure she would get pregnant before me which she did which is awesome and my nephew was actually born i believe he's eight weeks old now at the time i'm filming this which is crazy um so it's kind of cool because they'll be really close together but anyways so i was super excited for her but also disappointed because i had been trying for so long and it worked for them like right away um so i know in life things happen for me when i literally like stop trying so hard and just let it happen i've just found that that happens for me in life like it's so silly but anything i've ever really wanted so badly you definitely have to work for stuff i don't mean just sit there and expect things to come to you but um sorry this is like oh, gone a whole rant now but i also feel like anything i've really really wanted in life that is out of my control for example going into labor naturally conceiving a child um things like that which you're like actively tr still trying obviously you can't just like be like i'm not gonna do anything but hope i get pregnant like that's not how it works but stop like obsessing and stressing over it because the stress actually prevents you from being able to do those things so i'm gonna try not to stress which for me if you know me <laughs> that's hilarious um but i'm gonna try not to stress and just try to chill out and see now that i'm sitting down the contraction stopped i'm gonna try to chill out and just relax it's currently what time is it it's only 11 in the morning i literally feel like i've done so much today already uh, i'm gonna go lay down in bed and just like watch a show actually i'm gonna eat something and then i'm gonna lay down in bed and watch a show relax and even if baby doesn't come for another two weeks or three if i get go over and get induced um at least you know i get some relaxing time in before chaos with a toddler and a baby in a pandemic <laughs> anywho yeah so that is that thank you so much for watching today's video and i apologize for this crazy long rant that i just went on thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye